All right. This afternoon, I have a few of our Honors College peer mentors here with us to talk a little bit more about uh, graduate and professional development opportunities in the Honors College and at UVM. I'll let them introduce themselves. Sarah, we can begin. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm originally from Hopkinton, Massachusetts, and I'm a junior this year, graduating in May 2021. Um, I study elementary education, and I have two minors, minor in special education and education for cultural and language diversity. And I'm also part of the Honors College. Hi everyone, my name is James Whitley and I use he, him pronouns. I'm from Waveridge, Vermont, and I am studying biological science with minors in both statistics and chemistry. Cool, and hi everyone. My name is Courtney. I use she, her pronouns. I'm from Blakesley, Pennsylvania. I am a fourth year this year and I'm studying economics and French with a minor in business. Great, thank you all. First question for this panel is talking about your postgraduate aspirations or plans. And my question is, do you know what it is you wanna do after college or have some thoughts about the direction you're gonna take after UVM? Um, so for me, I've always known that I've wanted to be a teacher ever since I was in high school. So my goal for when I graduate is to become a teacher, um, but it's more of a question of what grade I want to teach and where I want to teach. Um, some of the opportunities I'm considering are Teach for America, which is a great program um, that basically places teachers right out of college and impoverished communities and you're there for two years. Um, something else I'm considering doing is going back to school and getting my master's. Um, so, but I'll probably teach for a few years after that. And then while um, at, during my time at UVM as part of my enrollment in the Honors College, I've been working on a thesis project that has to do with arts integration. And um, that's also something that I'm considering doing in my future is working more as an art educator or an arts education specialist in school. And that was inspired by my work uh, through the Honors College. Uh, coming into UVM, I knew that I wanted to be a doctor, so I'm hoping to matriculate into medical school at some point and hopefully like do pediatrics of some sort. But UVM kind of showed me a different route than I thought I would be taking to getting there. I'm actually waiting um, on the moment to hear back from the Fulbright program in Taiwan about whether I can be an English teaching assistant there. Um, at UVM, I did a lot of tutoring with like chemistry and biology, and I volunteered at um, a school place called the Sarah Hallbrook Center, which is basically um, an after school program for disadvantaged and youth and like children from refugee families. And we teach them English, we play games with them and stuff like that. And from like kind of those experiences that UVM uh, like showed me and gave me, I kind of had this like love developed for teaching and I was really looking forward to hopefully doing something uh, in a growth year before going to medical school and involving that. And next year I will be going to the University of Virginia for a 10 month program studying uh, finance. It's the MS in Commerce program. Um, so at UVM, I came in as an engineering major but in my first week, I decided to switch to economics um, and having that opportunity of figuring out what I really enjoyed uh, through UVM has helped me really study a lot of different processes and things that I really enjoy. Through a liberal arts education, I've been able to have two majors, a minor, and also study a bunch of different courses that I never really would have been able to take had I not um, found my passion through a different major. Great, thank you. A question for all of you, if, if you could tell us a story, was there a particular experience you had at UVM that either clarified or confirmed the postgraduate path that you see yourself on now? Um, so for me, when I was, I was in a class my freshman year and I did a particular assignment in that class, which was a literature review that I conducted um, on the benefit of arts integration and specifically using it in the classroom to help support refugee students. Um, and that really inspired what I wanted to do for my thesis project. 
Um, and I was able to use the work that I already done in that class to kind of help support uh, my thesis as well. Um, so it was a really helpful assignment. And so for me, that opened, that gave me kind of a clear direction for where I wanted to take my work with the Honors College and the thesis project. And also I'm hoping to use that later on in my career as well. Uh, UVM has given me a lot of opportunities to do specifically volunteering in the community, uh, specifically at the UVM Children's Hospital. And there, like, I kind of just like um, sharpened my desire to be a doctor. Uh, there was this one story I could talk about where I was a sophomore and I was just like in the playroom with a little girl that was being treated for cystic fibrosis. And we were like playing in the ball pit and more than actually playing with the ball pit, she was just like throwing plastic balls at me. It was fun for her. For me, it was like dodging and a little bit of like, whoa, whoa. Uh, but then the nurses came in and they like said that she needed to do her cystic fibrosis treatment, which is basically where they put on a vest and they like pat your chest to break up the mucus in the lungs. And if you're like a three year old girl, this probably isn't the most fun thing to happen. So she was like starting to get a little hysterical and was resisting the nurses. And like, without thinking, I was just like, hey, if you go do this, then you can just come back to the ball pit after and continue to throw balls at me. And she just like got this big smile on her face and went in to the nurses and did her treatment. And I think just moments like that really solidified that, like, I want to go into a career where I can have those types of moments and be someone that can not only facilitate medical knowledge to a community, but also like warmth and just being like a person to person level. I think one of my most defining moments was having um, a kind of culture shock. I don't want to say it that like that, but um, a talk with Martha Lance, who is a advisor at the Honors College. She really helped me in that first week in me switching my major, making me understand that it's totally okay to switch your major, even if you just got to college. Um, so it was just having that kind of support system at UVM, having people I could talk to, finding professors that I could talk to just even about anything. Like I would go to my professor's office hours or Martha to talk about finance, even though I know she doesn't really necessarily care about it. She cares about hearing things that I'm excited about. So that was really something that helped me develop my passions. Well, so if each of you had one piece of advice you wanna share with prospective students about um, coming into college and finding ways to connect your intellectual interests with some of your postgraduate opportunities, what would that piece of advice be? So my piece of advice that I would give other college students um, or people coming into college is to try to grasp onto as many opportunities as possible, not to overwhelm yourself, but really take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you, even if you're not sure if it's something that's going to, you know, become um, something you want to do in the future just because you never really know what it's going to end up being um, and really just put yourself out there and um, do the best you can to grab onto those opportunities and see the potential in them. Yeah, kind of adding on to like what Sarah says, my advice would be very similar to do. It's kind of cliche, but I say get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I would never imagine like four years ago coming into UVM that I would be wanting to like teach English in another country or do something like that's not as like relevant to medicine on the surface. But again, through experiences at UVM and these opportunities that uh, my advisors and my friends told me about, it just kind of showed me something more that I could be interested in other than like what I initially thought. I definitely agree with everyone that what they're saying is looking at as many opportunities as possible, but also kind of find as many networks as possible. So I have a lot of friends in a bunch of different colleges, thanks to living in the Honors College community. Um, my first year roommate is still my same roommate, and she studies biology and gender studies, so something completely different than me. But I really formed a great bond and a great connection with someone. So really finding friends all across the university is my piece of advice. <laughs> well, thank you all for your, your time and your wisdom and for the thoughts you shared this afternoon. Really appreciate it. Thank you.